think. <laughs> IGAD as a regional organization, uh, one of the area of intervention is, you know, promoting uh, building the capacity of uh, the uses of the region. We are working on women, we are working on peace and security, uh, climate change and other issues. When we are talking about these issues, these agendas nationally as well as, as a, in regional level, it's impossible without you know, the participation of the youth, not the participation, a very significant contribution of the youth. That's why you know, we were working on the use policy. That use policy, finally, we have, you know, uh, 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 we have communicated to the member states to, uh, uh, to have, you know, a vibrant users who really, really can uh, go with the agenda of the users. That's why today we came up with the new use envoy of the region. First of all, allow me to appreciate the, the IGAD, the executive secretary for IGAD, for creating such a platform, such a position, to ensure that the young people are part of the institution. This is the beginning of the journey that will not end. And being the first youth envoy, I have a lot of responsibility to ensure that the young people are brought closure when it comes to the matters of discussion, peace and security. When you talked about the gender-based violence, our young people having access into, to justice, our young people, our young people participating into the preventive measures. Uh, IGAD itself is an intergovernmental body that brings together the member states together to discuss the issues that affect the region. And out of that, several times, several occasions, the voices of the young people have been lacking in this discussion. One of my key interventions is that to work closely with the Office of the Executive Secretary with its support and guidance to ensure that the voices of the young people are being discuss and put part and partial of the IGAD programming frameworks, but also the member states who are members of the IGAD are able to actually rectify and adopt some of the agreement and implement in partnership with the youth within their, mem within their country. So it is not just an office, but this is an office for the young people. It's not mine. It's for the member state to ensure that they work closely with that office to ensure that the voices of the young people, what we have agreed for, young people are included, but not only that, they're part of the development process within the region. Uh, we are very sure that he will spoke better than, speak better than us about his peer users. He will advocate the problems, the challenges the youths are facing in the region, and he will advocate also the opportunities that the youth can grasp uh, from all aspects of uh, life in the region. So, where's the youth envoy?